Did you ever feel totally gutted and worthless? Oh, I've got some things to tell you. It seems like all people, at some point or another, feel gutted and that all too familiar worthless feeling because of what you've been through or whatever the deal is or what you're currently going through. I want to speak to the very, uh, the very gutted right now and the very uh, worthless feeling people. If you have a relationship with God, there are some things that I want to tell you. You've always heard Oh, well, you know, he he knows exactly what you're going through. He, you know, he feels you. You know, he knows. I always find that a lot of the times somebody's explanation of who God is falls short to what I need during the time. And maybe that's just because I have to discover it myself with him. He has to reveal himself to me for me to understand. But I want to come at this at a different angle. Some people have had one failed relationship after another. Seeing as though you can't keep one. You struggle constantly. You feel as though that you give it all, but for some odd reason you fall short. Well, in relationships and in other scenarios, let's say just family situations. You are the black sheep. You are not respected. You feel worthless. There's only specific times that you feel okay. I also want to talk to the people that are completely struggling daily to be all right. God is not who you think he is. And I hope these words will help. For those that are in trouble all of the time with relationships and can't seem to get it, I want you to understand something. What you're going through, a lot of the times can be self-inflicted. But I don't want to worsen your scenario, so listen to me. If you believe in God, and you believe what He has to offer, you believe that He saved you, who He has for you, He's very well aware of. He knows their desires. He knows their, de their desires for you. That deep, deep longing and loneliness that you feel that just seems to not go. Even when you have a relationship, this, this loneliness hits you. Who have you been told God is? He knows the depth of you. He knows your habits. He knows what you're good at and what you're not good at. He sees you and hears you every day, every second. You are his pride. Do you not think that God already knows what that intended person for you, your soul, and theirs, knows what they love to eat? knows when they're laying there in bed, tossing and turning. Where is that someone? God, show me that someone. To the ones that have completely been rejected by family. You never choose your family. You don't. I never thought that blood was thicker than water. I've never seen it. 
some families, yes. But it gets all complicated and weird. You never progress past a certain point, it seems. Because your family's always rescuing you. And you feel worthless because you're not who you are. You guys... Don't ever think that there aren't people out there that think about the fact that you become so sad, so depressed, you don't know what to do. Some of you put on a smile every day and you're a really good actor. You have some things that you need to get out. You have to talk. You have to talk to someone. And you have to take all of you, all the situations that I've mentioned, every single one of you, the brokenhearted, the rejected, the depressed, the lonely. Think for one second that you may have God wrong. You just might. You have to give it that try. I know that I have not got it right more than a million times. But one thing I'm starting to understand that he delights in me. He loves me. He loves what he made. I have to get on board with that. When I get on board with that and I start to understand the creation that he made in me, in you, has great purpose. But sometimes you have to know what that purpose is. You have to, in order to know what that purpose is, you have to love who you are. How he delights in you, you have to spend the time that he actually has the, these thoughts. I can't wait till they understand this. I can't wait because my great and perfect will is around the corner. Understanding how he made us, our gifts, our abilities that he designed in every one of you has to come out. But you have to recognize that you are his perfect, perfect creation. We're flawed because of our own crap. But the way that he sees you, he sees his son when he looks at you. How wonderful is that? I hope this encourages you guys because we all need to understand this. This world is telling you how awful you are. And God is telling you how wonderful you are.